Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of our mission. No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. What is this? Wow! What a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill. Can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay. Let me handle this. Stay alert! A dining room. What? What is this? 
What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well... It can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there.
Harry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then.
Richard! What happened? Oh, Jill. This house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded! What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake. And also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh, Richard, hold on! There is serum. Oh no, I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks.
Here's the serum! Richard, hold on! I'll give you a shot now! Jill, here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh.
poisoned. Give me the serum.
Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place anyway?
Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you.
Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? Hey! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Thank you. I'll take this then.
Oh, Jill, what good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm going to cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah? You're alive! Wait there! Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh, yes! Enrico! So, Barry and Jill together. Are you alright, Enrico? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! Ah! 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 Enrico!
Jill? Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. Oh, it doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. Jill, you're here too. Yes, you're here too? Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything. Because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes, though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl, but if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Oh! Oh. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? 
Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon, called Tyrant or something, I, I think. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. It would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. Would a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. what it does. going. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us.
for keeping you waiting. So everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. Go!
Thank <laughs> you.